Hi. So some of you might remember this hologram episode from just over a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> it's where Watame was trying to understand the difference between coffee and mud. Now within that episode, Subaru ends up doing like a pro wrestling maneuver on Watame because she had coffee spit on her face. And this move is dubbed the uh, Hitsuji Goroshi or like literally the sheep killer. And what ends up happening is that a actual pro wrestler by the name of Great Okan, who is signed up to uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling, actually uses the move within a match. Apparently he shouts Shiba before actually doing the move, so we can be sure that he's trying to recreate that actual move. So this Great Okan turns out to be a otaku basically. He's into anime as well. He likes uh, Milky Homes, which is not the anime that you might think it might be. He also submitted a video message to uh, Mikorone Niju Yon, the 24 hour stream that Korone and Mikochi actually did. Hot! <laughs> <laughs> So this guy is like a true VTuber simp. He actually used to be an amateur wrestler up until 2015 and he was actually really good. He won a whole bunch of gold medals within in several tournaments. But now he has another accomplishment to put under his belt because on March 29th around 8.50pm as he was passing the toilet within uh, Musashi Kosugi Station, which is a station inside uh, Kawasaki. Kawasaki is very close to Tokyo. It's kind of in between Yokohama and Tokyo. There was a young girl who was waiting for her mother to come out of the toilet and she was being grabbed by this drunk guy, like by the shoulders and the, the guy was trying to drag her away and she was screaming. And when she saw Okan, she called to him for help. Okan then responded, like stepped in and grabbed the dude and prevented her from being taken away. So just ended up being a hero. And not only that, but before the police came to question Okan about the whole incident, he apparently was consoling the girl by offering her pancakes. Pancakes are good. Okan was then sent a certificate of appreciation by the Nakahara police station. But not only that, but he also received a reward from uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling as well. It's really good to hear about these kind of stories as well, because, you know, there are some people who talk about how Japanese people can be cold and how they would not step in when this sort of situation arises. But as we can see, the great Okan, he did step in. And uh, yeah, it'd be great to have more people like him. Anyway, a nice little story to help uh, hopefully brighten your day. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys uh, later. Take care. Bye.